dripping with water, one after another. Happened yesterday morning in East Austin's Colony neighborhood. And now people who've been affected are asking their water company for an explanation. KXA's Tom Miller found out the company was doing maintenance at the time, but it is not accepting responsibility. When Lynn Loxie got home Tuesday, this is what she walked into. Water seeping into her Austin's Colony home. Now the fans are in and carpet gone. It's covering up the front yard instead. There was about an inch of water in here, maybe maybe two. The Loxie family isn't alone. Uh. Cell phone video taken from a home down the road shows a similar scene. While this was happening, a wet spot started to appear on nearby Castleman Drive. Ashley Trimpey noticed it just as her water softener broke. It's not viable anymore and we will have to get a new one. The flooding and equipment failures appear to have happened while Southwest Water Company and its subsidiary Hornsby Ben Water Company were working on a tank inspection and cleaning in the neighborhood, saying in a statement, this necessitated water to be shut off to less than 500 customers for approximately 30 minutes. Outside of this brief outage, we are unaware of any other issues related to our water system. Something definitely had to have gone wrong. This many homes, same time, same day, it, it's something happened and they need to take responsibility. The company fielded at least 17 calls immediately after the shutoff and the damage appears widespread. Southwest Water Company have them take responsibility for it and um, pay, pay up. Neighbors believing all this is too much to be a coincidence. In Austin, Tom Miller, KXAN News. And we reached out again tonight and a spokesperson for Southwest Water Company says they don't believe there's a connection between the water damage and the work crews were doing. The Public Utilities Commission of Texas oversees Southwest Water. Customers who are affected in this instance or if you have a problem with your own utility provider, you could file a complaint with the commission online or by phone. We have the link to their page as well as other resources with this story over on KXAN.com.